Our reading for today is Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 17. I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. And all of them began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language, Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and the residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others neared and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and of all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream of dreams. In these human words, God's word is heard. So ngayon ay Pentecost, kaya tayo ay namumula. Ah... Uh, Alam niyo sa preaching, sa pag, pagpipreach at sa pag interpret ng scripture, pag mahirap ang verse, mahirap talaga siyang gawan ng preaching. Pero pag madali din ang verse, ang hirap din niya <laughs> gawan ng preaching. So today, I will be preaching on uh, Pentecost. Now, background lang sa Acts. The book of Acts is the part 2 of the book of Luke, the Gospel of Luke. So, in a way, I consider the book of Acts also as gospel. No? Kasi continuation siya. Pag tinignan niyo yung last chapter of Luke, yung last chapter of Luke, which is the Ascension, makikita din yung same story sa first chapter of Acts. At ang Acts is actually a story of, of the first Christian communities, the first generation Christians, mga unang Kristiano. Meaning, ito yung, pag sinabi natin first generation Christians, ito yung nakasalamuha mismo si Jesus. The historical Jesus, they were able to uh, be with Him. Hindi lang witness, be with Him. Experience him, hear his words, touch him, eat with him, laugh with him, cry with him. So sila yan. So the, the book of Acts is about their story, the, for the first Christian communities, and particularly of Paul. Ah, si Paul, 
si Paul kilala natin. Ex ko yun eh. Char. <laughs> Yes, I had an ex by the name of Paul. Nako, magagalit na naman si ano. Nagme-mention ako ng ex. Uh, yeah, the story of Paul. So the framing naman, if you study the book of Acts, yung magkabilang dulo niya, the beginning and the end, ang framing niya is about uh, proclamation. It's about evangelization. Bringing the Jesus story to other people. No? Although, Christians credit the spread of Christianity to Paul, which is okay din naman kasi may contribution talaga siya sa pag-spread ng Christianity. But, early Christianity spread because of migration. Particularly, merchant Christians. No? Saka kasi ang Acts, sinulat siya, what? Ah... Uh, 64 na matay si Paul. 62, 64. Sinulat siya. So, para mga 30 years after sinulat ang Acts. No, 30. 25, 20, 25 years after sinulat ang Acts. No, by, by someone who knew about the community. Sino na nakapanood ng... Ay, yan pala. Sino na nakapanood ng... Ano? Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix. Hindi pa, Anyone is familiar with the story? Yeah. Familiar naman kayong lahat sa story ng Phoenix from the original X-Men yeah. story. Oh, familiar. So, wala akong, wala akong sasabihin dito na hindi nyo alam na. Okay? Because, so, hindi to spoiler. Okay? So, the, the, the first generation Christians, well, up until the fourth generation Christians, the first 100 years of Christianity, The, the, the early Christians were mostly peasant class. 90% of them are peasant class. Meaning, these are really poor people. People who are not also, uh, hindi sila literate, hindi marunong magbasa, hindi marunong magsulat. Therefore, the Gospels were not written by the actual apostles. Okay? They did not know how to write. Um... And this, the, the, this peasant class, as we as you are familiar with, with the Jesus stories, were uh, prostituted women, slaves, there were slaves among them, uh, fishers, uh, peasant fishers. Although Peter may not be, some scholars said he may not, he might be middle class in a way, because he owned boats. No? Uh, so peasant Fisher, fisher folks, peasant farmers, day laborers, uh, lepers, uh, crippled people. These were the, 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 the majority of the early Christians. Minority ang middle class noon. And they, well, they had middle class uh, among them. Mababasa nyo rin sa Acts because they were also people who joined the the Jesus community the Jesus movement who sold their land and gave the proceeds to the apostles meron pang story diyan sa acts na pinangako nila sa apostles na ibebenta nila yung lupa at lahat ng proceeds ay pupunta sa apostles pero nung nabenta na napag-iisip nila ay masyadong malaki yung nabenta baka pwedeng konti lang ang ay pwede, may kumuha tayo ng konti so namatay sila dahil dinaya isa sa mga verse sa Fira oo isa sa mga stories na medyo hindi ko bet no kasi namatay sila they drop dead uh, right there and then nung sinabi ni Peter na uh, ano to you 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 promise parang in a way you promise us this proceeds You already had the power to do what you want with it, even before. But now you cheat us with this. Tapos bigla silang namatay. Silang mag-asawa. Uh, so yeah, so may mga middle class that were supporting the, the community and uh, in Acts. But majority of them are peasants. And these peasants are the, the people who are unwanted in society. 
people who are rejected in society. Either they are unwanted and rejected or they are abused by Jewish Roman uh, society. So in a way, these are the, the, the Jesus movement and the people belonging there were X-Men, unwanted people. Unwanted because they are different, unwanted because of so many things. Pero, ang early Christianity ay merong tatlong powers. Meron silang special powers. No, tatlo. Number one, the number one power that they have, alam nyo, ano, ano tingin nyo? What do you think is the first power that they had? <laughs> ano? Yeah. The first power that they have is the Jesus story. The power of story. Particularly, the Jesus story. And the Jesus story is centered upon the crucifixion and the resurrection. Sabi nga natin, we are an Easter people. We are a children of the resurrection. The proclamation of Peter in Pentecost was about the risen Christ. No? So that's the number one. The number one, the, the first power is the story of Jesus that they experienced themselves, that they witnessed. Doon muna ako sa pangatlo. The third power, ano tingin nyo yung pangatlo nilang power? Pangatlo nilang, ano? Power! Networking? Networking. Ano? Oh, well, yeah. Malapit-lapit, malapit. Community. The power of being together, of being a community. Isa din yan kung bakit pinersecute ang early Christians because they were, how they lived their life as a community was a total subversion of the patriarchal uh, structure of, of Roman Jewish society. Roman Jewish society is, the head, the head of the family is the patria, the father. And then... And then the firstborn child, young, uh, the firstborn son, no? and every male. No? But the, the, the early Christian community was communal. Was communal. Women were given responsibility to also teach and preach in early Christianity. They were communal. They were a council of elders. The property was not just with one person. In Acts 2 and Acts 4, it is said that the, the believers lived together and had everything in common. They sold their properties and laid the proceeds to the feet of the apostles and they distributed as according to each one's need. Co very communal, very communal na so very communal, very social na setup. It also is practical because nga lahat sila ay may hirap, slave, pesan. Uh, yung iba kikita sa araw na ito, yung iba walang kita, yung iba wala talagang kita dahil slave, yung iba may mas middle class. So for the community to survive, they shared everything in common. And that was, their, that was a powerful testament that draw other peasant people, other middle class people to their community. Because they were together as a true caring community. That is their power. The second power, third unit, the second power is, anong sa tingin yung second power? That actually holds together the other two. 
Ano si celebrate natin ngayon? The Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. In which case, we will never fully know. But it is there. We will never know. We will never understand. Bit, kung akala na, siyempre tayo, nagsiselebrate na tayo ng Easter, di ba? Pag nag Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, celebration sa mga churches. Yan. In the Catholic Church, mas bongga ang handaan ng mga diocese, di ba? Mas, mga bishop, mas bongga ang handaan niyan, niyan kesa sa Pasko. Hmm? Tapos, pwede kang mamasko sa mga father. Pag, hindi lang Christmas, pag, pag Easter. Pasko ng pagkabuhay. Because in the liturgy of the church, mas importante ang Easter, ang resurrection. No? In between Easter and Pentecost, yung sabi ko, masaya tayo pag Easter, 2,000 years after, but the first time that it happened, even when they were already witnessing Jesus and experiencing the risen Jesus, in between that to Pentecost, the first Pentecost, takot pa rin sila. Hindi pa rin nila alam ang gagawin nila. Kahit nakita na nila ang, bu- ang nabuhay namang muling Jesus. Because we read in Acts that they were still hiding in the closet. <laughs> they were still hiding in the upper room. Wala pa silang courage. Lumaw. Takot pa rin sila. Nakita na nila si Jesus, pero takot pa rin sila. Despite what has been shown to them, they were still afraid. And so when Pentecost happened, when the Holy Spirit finally happened, sila ay lumabas. And they boldly proclaimed that Jesus is risen. That there is salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Suddenly, for whatever reason, hindi natin alam, all of a sudden, lumabas sila, hindi na sila natatakot, hindi na sila naguguluhan. They were very sure, they were very committed and had conviction to go out and proclaim the risen Christ. To proclaim the gospel. The Pentecost also gives us a clue that they started to organize themselves as a community. Kasi nung nasa upper room sila, wala nga, e depressed sila, kahit nakita na nila si Jesus, hmm, depressed pa din sila, natatakot, papatayin sila ng mga hudyo, ng ibang mga kapwa, kapwa nila hudyo. Pero ngayon, nung dumating ang Holy Spirit, lumabas sila, despite of uh, a real threat to their life. At yun yung nangyari. After they preached in the temple, si Peter at si John ay hinuli ng mga temple guards, humarap sila kay Caiaphas, at sinabi ni Caiaphas, bakit nyo pinipreach itong mensaheng ito? Patay na si Jesus. And they were flogged. They were flogged by the temple guards. So before Pentecost, they did not know what their power was. They did not know the power of the story. They did not know the power of community. And they didn't still have the power of the Spirit. And suddenly, they had power. Power! Suddenly, they had power. Parang X-Men lang. Despite having special abilities, they fear the humans. If you know the story of X-Men, they still went into hiding despite their powers. They were still afraid. Jean Grey was afraid of, of her own power to lose control. She didn't know what really 
the power that she had. And like the early Christians, and like the X-Men story, LGBT people have no clue of our power. Even today, we still don't know our power. Like the early Christians, like X-Men, LGBTQ people are fighting among themselves. Even after Pentecost, alam niyo, in Pentecost, Nag-aaway-aaway pa rin ang mga Christ- They were given the power of the Holy Spirit. They were gathered as a community. Ano ang unang pinag-awayan nila pag binasa niyo sa Acts? Racist. Racist ang mga Christ- ang mga Hudyo. The, the Jewish, sabi doon, nagreklamo ang mga Gentile Christians because they were being neglected in the distribution of resources. Mas, pinabab- mas binibigyan ng resources yung Jewish Christians. And they were infighting. And then the second round naman ng pag-aaway, ano? Kailangan bang tuliin ang mga Gentile Christians o hindi? For them to be Christian, do they need to be circumcised like the Jews? Ano ba naman sunod nilang pinag-awayan? Even after the Pentecost. Even after the coming of the Holy Spirit. So, X-Men and early Christians and LGBTQ people don't know the power that we have. And we still struggle with the gifts that we have and the brokenness that we have. Diba? Ang mga LGBTQ uh, may nabasa ako libro ni Sino to? Ni Neil Garcia. UP professor, if you're familiar with him. One of his older books na essays lang. May, mayroon siya isang friend na straight who hindi, parang hindi masyadong gifted uh, intellectually or intel- intelligently. And he always looked up to gays. In, in their in exclusive school. And one time, nag-uusap sila ni Neil over a bar, nakiinom, at umiiyak tong, itong straight guy na to. Gust, kung pwede lang daw siya maging gay na lang. Because gay men, as he witnessed during his school days, has always excelled in sports, in academics, in the arts. Sabi niyang ganun. LGBTQ people are exceptionally gifted people. And also because dahil nga sa oppression natin, we hope to, uh, we always try to do more, to strive harder, so that only so that people will, especially the people that we love, will finally see our work. Diba yung kasabihan, yung minsan sinasabi, ah, bakla siya, pero okay lang kasi matalino naman. Bakla siya, lesbian siya, pero maayos naman, may magandang trabaho. Tumutulong sa pamilya. Ganyan, diba? We always strive harder and that also gives us that exceptional giftedness. But, they are also in our community continues to hide in the upper room, in the upper closets. We fear the backlash of society. We fear losing our comforts and privileges, especially the middle class LGBTs. Huwag tayong masyadong ang tag dito? Huwag tayong masyadong ra-ra-ra, sisbumba. Kasi magbabaklash ang mga conservative. Ha? Huwag maging militante. And like the X-Men, and like the first Christians, what society do not understand, it tries to kill what it fears because it does not understand 
it tries to kill. Kaya, well, kaya may basis din naman ang mga fears nating mga LGBTQ, especially trans transgendered uh, persons, uh, non-binary people. We continue to be in our closets, in our upper rooms. We await, we wait for our Pentecost. We wait for our Pentecost. We wait for that time where LGBTQ in the Philippines will really push for all and every rights that it that we have but are not legislated. You know, nag 25,000 tayo ng Pride March last year. Pero asan ang 25,000 nung nagpatawag ng uh, SOGI rally sa uh, EDSA? to push for the anti-discrimination bill. So despite the 25,000, that is not yet a Pentecost moment because we are still afraid of society. We wait. We wait for the Phoenix Force to come to us. We wait for the Phoenix Force to come to us. And when the Phoenix Force, when the Holy Spirit comes, we will know how to organize ourselves as a community. And we will have the power of the story. Diba? Sa LGBT movement and even in any other movement, importante ang kwento. Nung sina Ate Mara, isa sa mga uh, work nila sa Achieve is to bring out the stories of oppressed people. Napaka-importante ng story. There is power in story. Kaya nga love na love nyo ang Game of Thrones. Kaya love na love nyo ang Marvel. Kaya love na love ng mga parents natin ang maalaala mo kaya. The power of story. When the when the Holy Spirit comes, your story, our story, the Jesus story of today will have power once again for the marginalized class, for the LGBTQ, for the labor sector, for the OFWs. <coughs> Kasi anong ginawa nila, di ba? When the Pentecost came, the first thing that they did and the first thing that the Holy Spirit pushed them to do is to proclaim the good news. To proclaim the good news. Pero yung good news ba, good news lang sa lahat? Is the good news good news for everyone? Tingin nyo. It should be. If it is good news for all, then they shouldn't have been killed. If Jesus proclaimed good news to everyone, he wouldn't have been crucified. Peter and John, in, during that Pente- after the Pentecost, shouldn't have been flogged by the temple guards and the, the, oh, by, by the order of the priests. Because good news to the poor and the marginalized is bad news for others. Good news to the poor is bad news to the senator and the congressman and some of the tycoons. Good news to the LGBTQ is bad news for the conservative Christians. Good news to the environment is bad news to mining companies and to other industries. Jesus and the early Christians were killed not because the good news, they, not because that they preach only the good news, but the good news of the oppressed is bad news for the powerful. And that is, that is what the Holy Spirit pushed them to declare. 
So, tayo, as the early Christians, marami beses yung narinig sa atin, sa akin, in uh, our Bible studies, the early Christians wrote or, or told the story of Jesus and later on wrote about it in the context of their experience. They proclaimed the reason Jesus in the context of their time. Now I ask you, what is the Jesus story for you today? What is the Jesus story for LGBTQ people today? What does it mean for the Jesus story to be proclaimed by LGBTQ people today? We talked about and we continue to talk about homosexuality is not a sin. That is not a gospel in itself. That is just part of the gospel. When we learn about this, ito ba ay para lang sa atin? When we hear about the queer stories of the Bible through a careful reading and analysis of the, of the biblical text, is it just to make us feel good? Or is it something more? What does it mean for us as LGBTQ, as part of the marginalized class, what does it mean for us to tell the Jesus story, the resurrected Jesus story, in the lens and in the context of our community today, as they did some 2,000 years ago? And in, in our, ito, sa open table, we are in that period of the resurrection. Yung na-resurrect tayo dahil may bago tayong space, people are starting to come and gather. Uh, so we are resurrected. Pero wala pa tayo sa Pentecost. Wala pa sa Pentecost ang community ito. Ang open table. We await for this community, for this church, for the larger LGBT community, we wait for that time when the spirit of wind and fire will bind us together, will push us to proclaim, to proclaim the Jesus story in the context of our lives. We wait for that. We pray for that. We wait that we as ex-men and ex-women for us to realize our three powers. The power of the story, of the Jesus story in our lives, the power of our community and many communities, and the power of the Spirit that binds us and animates us all. Let us pray. Loving God, we ask for the new anointing of your Spirit. We wait for that time that we may finally have the power once again, the power to tell your story and the story of our lives. The power of community, of a caring community that subverts this society, this oppressive system. And we wait when the Holy Spirit will make this happen in our lives, in our communities, so that we may build, we may participate in the coming of your reign on earth where there is justice, inclusion, and peace rooted in love. In the name of the one who gives us his spirit, Jesus the Christ, we say, Amen. Amen.